What do we have here? Well, we got a Wells Fargo strong box and some antique ball and chain. Okay, you do have a ball and chain and a few old uh, handcuffs. I've had a ball and chain for 50 some years, son. <laughs> Don't talk about my mother that way. <laughs> I come to the pawn shop today to sell my strong box, ball and chain, and handcuffs. I do a lot of treasure hunting. I'm looking to get around $2,000 for everything. The least I would take is probably around 18. All right, well, tell me about these things. This ball and chain right here uh, actually comes from the human prison. It's the oldest prison in the state of Arizona. Yeah, opened in the 1870s. Originally, it was a territorial prison. Arizona wasn't even a state when it opened up. Right. This one right here, it comes from Folsom Prison from around the late 1800s, 1900s. I know um, California did their hangings there. Right. But a uh, pretty notorious prison. Same with uh, Yuma. They had all the bad guys. They were not a nice place to be, but if you went to jail, that's where you went. They didn't have that many back then. Back in the day, a ball and chain kept prisoners from making a break for it. Dragging a big hunk of iron around would do that. Here's my concerns. When they forged chains back in the 1800s, it was just hot welding together. You know, get it hot, beat it together. 1800s, they didn't have art welding. It was all done by a blacksmith. That's why I have a problem with these chains. They're electrically welded. See how these have arcs from an arc welder? Sure, okay. Okay, and my other big concern, Never in the history of any prison did they ever have their name put on the balls. OK, so what are you trying to say? It's fake. What, what makes you an expert on this stuff? I've been buying and selling this stuff my entire life. The manufacturers who made these things weren't going to change the die for every prison. It's only fakes that have that, period. Yeah. But the box might be real. The handles, I mean, that's classic American cast iron, probably from Chicago. You know, my big problem is we have a box full of fake stuff. Gives me real doubt about the box. This stuff was not inside the box. I actually just bought it all and I put it in the box. All right, so that makes a lot more sense. This makes me feel a lot better about the box. Wells Fargo started off back in the 1850s as an express company that shipped valuables. You always see a Wells Fargo strong box in an old Hollywood Western. So this will definitely get a lot of interest from collectors. Box, I'll give you 400 bucks for. I want $1,200 for it. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll give you 400 bucks for the box, and I will get one of my guys to help you carry all this stuff out. Uh, 800. I just don't see me getting that kind of money out of it. I, I see me getting 600 bucks, maybe. I'd like to at least get $500 for it. I'll meet you in the middle of 450. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty little filthy. Hey, thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Rick called me down today to look at a Wells Fargo strong box he just bought. These things are rare. They're, they're wonderful pieces. I'm really looking forward to getting a chance to see this. OK. 19th century strong box, Wells Fargo. They were necessary because, you know, you were handling currency, you were handling gold, you are handling silver. You couldn't ship that unless it shipped in a strong box. Let's take a look here. So, first things first, have you already bought this? That sounds bad. I've already bought it. I don't have good news for you. This is a complete fantasy piece. It's a complete fake. Damn it, Rick. It's one of the most faked items out there. Wells Fargo was always Wells Fargo and Company Express. Okay. Never Wells Fargo Express. Even the lock is a modern one. This is a type that they never had. You know, I was looking at it. It's put together so well. I mean, we have cast iron handles. The oh, yeah. hardware looks good. It's riveted in there. Yeah. It's a well-made box. There's no question about yeah. that. But, but it ain't a $450 box. I thought it was fake to start with. Well, then why didn't you say anything? I didn't want to bust your bubble. What, so you let me spend the money instead? Now I can holler at you. <laughs> OK, well, thanks, Mark. I appreciate Not it. Not a problem. Thanks, Mark. Good to see you, Richard. At least I know what you're going to get for Christmas now. 
wow. This thing is nice. This is a cast me out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.